guys, it's time to share an update on the house. We've currently been painting, we've been unpacking, looking for furniture that we need because we had to get rid of a lot when we moved the last time I had COVID and so we couldn't bring like any big furniture with us. So we had to rebuy all of that, but I made a mistake. I screwed up like really bad. So everyone's like, look for furniture on Facebook Marketplace. Look for furniture on Craigslist. So what do I do? I did that. And I found a stove. So we have like a 36 inch wide space where there needs to be an oven in this house. So found one in our budget, ordered it, wasn't disclosed to me anything was wrong with it. And that's it in the background. We're going to go see all the damage. Well, it's really, really, really damaged. And I cried and cried and cried because it was not returnable as is. I totally got screwed over. And it was out of naivety that, like, thinking things would be fine. Like, it came wrapped up, you know. And as I was opening it, found all the things that were wrong with it. And then the people who delivered it didn't want to do refund or anything. They're like, it can be fixed. Give you some money back. But it's not what we were expecting. And I screwed up. And it, it hurt us a little bit. Now, I didn't pay a fraction of what this stove is worth. It's an Electrolux 36 inch slide in induction range. So, get ready to see the damage. It's so bad. That entire thing is dented and pushed in. This entire side part is pushed in and dented. The front is pushed in and dented. And it's missing the feet. Oh, and the toe plate. So, this is $125. This is $500 because the entire thing, including the induction plate, has to be replaced. <laughs> this is $50. The toe plate's $35. The legs are $120. So we paid $1,200 for it. And after we buy all the replacement parts, we're at like $750. So almost $2,000 for a $7,000 stove, which we would never even spend $2,000 normally. But ovens that are 36 to 48 inches wide are much more expensive. And so we had pre-budgeted this before we purchased the house, knowing that we needed to get something to fit into that space. Very upsetting because, you know, who wants to spend that kind of money on a damaged appliance? But we could never, and I mean never, afford a $7,000 stove. Um, there's just no way. That's insane. On the cheap end, a 36-inch like slide in range that's electric is about 5,000 new so we're still making out pretty well but man apparently I am naive green foolish because I had no idea that people sold damaged appliances I just assumed that it was used and yeah that that was heartbreaking so be forewarned if you're buying stuff to always question the condition because yeah that I really did a number on just our finances and our emotions but i'm going to show you the good part about how well it works still it's still completely functional so as we fix it up and wait for the pieces to come in we'll live with it how it is part is though and don't mind my morning hair because we've just woken up i get to show you guys how it works and it it was very fascinating to me um never seen anything like it how long it takes for the water to actually come to a boil so let's check it out and find out but then, like, instantly it starts getting these little bubbles, but we'll see how long it takes to get to, like, a full boil. And this is just, like, a four-quart pan, maybe smaller than that. Okay, so it's starting to make sounds, which I don't know if that's normal or not. And then this is kicking on. So, oh, look at it go, look at it go. Wow about a minute and 20 seconds for it to come to a boil not quite a rolling boil yet but it's getting there okay so i just walked to grab a box of mac and cheese and came back and it's at a full crazy boil now so that's insane turned it down to a six it's still cooking this is crazy watched it fully rolling boil within a minute and 30 seconds which was really good because our propane so we've had before it took much much longer than that to come to a full boil um i'm saying hi <laughs> it's um hi, very baby. good we made mac and cheese the kids enjoyed it and it worked well so we're at least happy with that hi, learn baby. oh you saying hi, hi <laughs> learn from our lesson 
and check things out before you buy them and yeah just be prepared for damage if you do buy something used and you don't check it out please consider subscribing to our channel we'll be showing our home renovations as we go about and just showing our daily life as a homeschool family and a work from home mama we will see you guys next time we appreciate you watching say bye madeline